welcome back to our 100% playthrough of Doom 2 on PlayStation 4 Unity port. Today we have the Focus, Map 4, and we have 55 enemies, 3 secrets. This level is infamously difficult for pistol starters, because the second we open that door we are going to be ambushed by every type of hit scanner imaginable best thing we can do is try to promote as much infighting as possible while trying to lure one of the chain gun soldiers to us to get it as quickly as possible. So just make sure when we are shooting we're staying accurate instead of holding down the button just clicking it so that we maintain the 100% accuracy until the chain gunner gets right in our face preferably one and not both so we can grab the chain gun clear him out and then slowly work out the shotgun soldiers behind the window just like that we're gonna have to do the same thing with another set of windows here barrels our friend do not have a shotgun yet, but there's one to take out the final shotgun soldier, and be careful around the corner, as those two do not like to wake up, and finally get our health. From here, one more hit scare in that room, and with the ammo we have left, Take out as many of the imps as we can, leaving at least one shotgun shell. And that is because in this same room, this wall with the blue markings is actually a door. However, there's a shotgun soldier directly behind it, so the second you open that door, let him have it. And this is our first of the three secrets, and now claim all that sweet, sweet ammo armor, more ammo, and health. And with all that done, this entire area cleared out, and everything that we are able to snipe from here sniped. The grunting you hear is a specter that's down in the poison pit. You might be able to hit depending on how close he is to you. But it's usually better just to go up close to them. So at this point we are at 29 kills. So it would be 30 if you could kill the Spectre. This switch lowers the blue key and we are ready to advance. Barrels are our friend, but never let them be used against us. And here we can take the Spectre out. There's our 30 kills. We lowered the blue key, so grab it and be ready for a monster closet that just opened in the room we are just in. So let's use this barrel to our advantage, because it is right beside the monster closet. Let them come out and detonate the barrel on as many of them as you can. Just like that. And with that we can get health, and you already notice a misaligned texture in the poison pit. That is going to be secret number two. However, be careful because inside is a chain gunner ready to light you up the second you get in there. He'll be to the left. And here is our super shotgun. And so at this point, everything in this entire quadrant of the level is finished. We have two of three secrets and 34 enemies down. Proceed to the dark room, giving priority to all of our hit scares, and we can make it a little less dark with this light switch here. As we clear this room out and the package room, usually I just run straight forward, get in the corner, and let them come to me since we have a super shotgun. And you see there's one imp stuck in there and one stuck back there. With nothing else moving, 
we can raise on this little step to drop that lift. We want to hit the switch, get on the lift, and that'll give us the red key, but before you jump off to the left, you want to jump toward the teleporter. Don't go through it yet, though, so we can get the secret. And with that said, we are at 46 kills, all secrets done. And the teleporter puts us back where we lowered the blue key from. And here is the ending segment. As you can see, we are still missing nine enemies. Most of them are going to be chain gunners. So the best thing I can say is when you get in this room, keep moving. Don't stand still for long. So we want to grab the yellow key, immediately jump off to the side, and use these teleporters to stay out of their line of sight as much as possible. Just like that. And there will be ones above us. Break their line of sight as much as possible. Spectre and a shotgun soldier. And now we can start all the te teleporting shenanigans. So where we just were on the right side, turn around. And there's nothing over here. Go through this teleporter. Puts us back to the main bridge. So go to the left where a shotgunner was, through that teleporter. And when you turn, there is the switch on the wall that raises the final platform to the exit. The top teleporters always take you back to the center. And if we check, we are one kill short, so odds are it's in the exit room. So the second you open that door, let whatever's behind there have it. And with that done, map four is in the bag. This map makes you hit the ground running. It is not kind by any stretch of the imagination and really ramps up, as the map implies, your focus in the game. Because around every corner there can be a hit scanner to completely throw you off guard. Secrets are in really good positions. I don't feel like any of them is really unfair and they just follow a natural progression through a level. Really enjoy this one, and we will meet you back here for map 5, The Waste Tunnels, next time.